For the second time this year, members of the United Radio and Machine Workers of America, Local Union 123, held a rally in front of the Dykin plant in Verona, Virginia. UE Local 123 Union's president, Wesley Henshaw, spoke with reporters yesterday during the rally of over 50 people. Henshaw works as a quality assurance technician at the plant. Henshaw said the rally that the union held on July 12th of this year was for a different set of grievances involving some firings, heat, and personal protective equipment issues. Henshaw said those issues have been resolved, but only after the union held their public rally. It seems like the only time we can get them to hear the voice is when the people come out here and show their concerns and show their expressions of how they feel about what's going on in the plant. This time, union members are holding the rally in protest to mandatory weekend overtime shift disputes. Henshaw said that Daikin is only allowed to schedule 26 mandatory weekend shifts per the collective bargaining agreement between Daikin and the union. Henshaw says the company is in violation of that agreement. They have scheduled two weekends over the 26, and we have filed the grievance, and we're going through the grievance process. Uh, the arbitration process for agreements is quite lengthy, and, and by the time it's done and settled, it's already happened. So we're trying to be uh, get this settled and get a resolution before people have to work any more scheduled weekends and give up time with their families. Dykin released a five-paragraph statement in response to the union's claims. Here is an excerpt from that statement. Quote, no Stanton employee has been required to work more than what is allowed in the collective bargaining agreement. The collective bargaining agreement allows for employees to be scheduled to work up to 26 weekends of overtime in a calendar year. That limit has not and will not be exceeded. An employee may voluntarily accept additional overtime. The company closes their statement by stating the following. Quote, while we feel it is important to set the record straight, we do not intend to engage in a public back and forth Dykin Applied stands ready to discuss any issues of concern with Local 123 and will do so within the confines of the labor agreement and that process. End quote. Avery Bell is the vice president of the UE Local 123 union. He works in the Dykin plant as a tester A. Well, it was important for us to come out here today to express how we felt about uh, the mandatory overtime uh, going past uh, the 26, the allowed 26 weeks. I, I don't think the company gets the idea that we have a standing contract and we should abide by it. I asked Bell what he thought of the company's statement denying that they are in breach of the collective bargaining agreement. Dykin uh, released a statement to the press saying that uh, all the claims that you guys are making are not true. What is your response to that? Uh, they're true. Uh, of course, the ones that are releasing the uh, statement, uh, they have a tendency to not be fully truthful. Breaking Through News will continue to follow the story closely, and we will update our viewers if there are any new developments. Hopefully the plant and the union can work this out, like they did with the other grievances earlier this year. In Verona, Theodore Whitelow, Breaking Through News.